If the other half is driving you crazy by keeping you awake at night, our next guest says she has the answer. Jennifer Adams is the author of Sleeping Apart, Not Falling Apart, and she joins me now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Lisa. How are you? Good, thank you. Tell us about your current sleeping arrangements. Well, my husband and I have been sleeping in separate bedrooms since one week after he moved into my house. That's how long we lasted. What happened one week <laughs> into the relationship? Well, we were both exhausted. We were dragging ourselves to work uh, and we were just not functioning very well because uh, mainly probably his snoring, but we have really different bed habits in terms of what time we go to bed, what time we get up. And so after a week, we just thought, we can't do this anymore. We'll just sleep together on weekends. That lasted two weeks. So, what, sleeping together on weekends yeah, lasted yeah, two weeks? Yeah, we just, we just couldn't so do it. So you just never sleep in the same bed anymore? No, no. Sometimes we do on holidays. Yeah, but so What rarely. happens to the intimacy? We work hard to make intimacy happen in the rest of the time. I mean, when you're in bed and you're sleeping, that's what you're doing. And so there are many other hours in the day where you can um, make sure that you are being intimate with each other because it's really important in a relationship. And if you are going to be sleeping apart from your partner, you've got to work at that. That's certainly something that has to be really explicit and you can't just let it fall by the wayside. But there's lots of chances to hop into bed with each other before you go to sleep in the mornings, on the weekends in the mornings, come in have a little bit of a snuggle and um, and intimacy is what it means for you as a couple and you've got to make sure that you talk about that and you work at it. Do you think this is mostly, well how many people do you think are currently sleeping apart? Yeah, well, there's... Really, honestly. Really, well, OK, so the stats that have come out, um, and the only statistics I can find are coming out of America and the UK, and they put it at about 20 to 25%. So we could assume that it's the same in Australia, but I would say they're more, Lisa, because a lot of people don't like to admit they're doing it. A lot of people hide it, so... I don't know, if I was a guessing woman, I'd say about 50%. Do you think it's more driven by men or by women? Um, that's a hard one. Again, I think it's probably um, depending on the couple. I think that women, when they go to bed at night, they're probably mostly going there to sleep, whereas men can often find that as a time of intimacy and a time to, um, to connect with their partner. How do you explain it to the kids, though? Well, I think and, and a number of people um, who I interviewed for the book, and they talk about the fact that they just say, Mummy and Daddy just can't sleep in the bed together. But they work hard to show the children that Mummy and Daddy are close, that there's no problems, and that that's just the way it happens in their family. And they all hop into bed in the morning or go to the other room. Um, but they certainly make it work. It's, it's a fascinating discussion. So you've got a lot of benefits out of sleeping in separate rooms? And, and, and for me, the big thing is the health benefits. And I think that's the message that needs to go out there. And the reason I wrote Sleeping Apart, Not Falling Apart is to say this is an OK decision to make as a couple because we all know that there are massive health benefits from sleeping well every night and issues that can arise from not sleeping well every night. Not just health for yourself, health for the relationship. You're going into work, you're well rested, so better for the economy. It's really better for everyone if you're well rested. It's a fascinating discussion point. Yes. I mean, just um, a couple of people here in the studio talking about everybody's yeah. got a different take on it. It's called yeah. Sleeping Apart, Not Falling Apart. And also, you've got a shout out to uh, your hubby this morning. I do, yes. Happy birthday, Fraser. It's his birthday today, so I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you this afternoon. Ah, oh. oh, there you go. You're planning on celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, well Lisa. done.